Hi, this is Ken Smyers with the controltrends.org, and we're at the ABCS meeting here in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm with Jim Brantner. Uh, Jim, Johnson's been in the uh, VFD business for since 2005 and had a great line of drives. Uh, why don't you tell us about your old drives and then just take it away to the new drives and, and then the drives with the bypass switches. Sure, absolutely. Thank you very much. Yes, um, actually what we're in the process of releasing now is our Series 2 drive. As mentioned, we've been in the drive business since 2005 with our Series 1 offering. Um, that product's been great for us. We've got probably install base of 35 to 40,000 units out there in that time frame. And just recently this year, we've introduced the VSD Series 2, which I have a nice working demonstration model here. Fully integrated three contactor bypass, communicating to one of our PCG controllers to show the connectivity to the Facility Explorer. Uh, supervisory controller system. So we have a very nice solution here that allows us to uh, communicate to the drive via three-wire communication, thus helping lower the installed cost, minimizing the hard wiring to the, uh, between the drive and the controller. So this becomes a very nice sales tool to um, take and promote the product. A great, great training aspect and uh, for, for salespeople. And if I pan you around this side, you can kind of see Here's an example of a meta, uh, the Facility Explorer network communicating to the drive. This, this actually is a working system. We are communicating to our supervisory controller and controlling this variable speed drive with a simple web browser brought up with our graphic package, allowing me to have complete control over the product re remotely. Uh, panning over here to the left, this is our new line of microdrive products. We have everything now from what used to be a, just a frame one through frame three, which took us up to 10 horsepower at 480 volts. We've now expanded that offering into a frame four and five size. This drive actually has capability of delivering 38 amps uh, or a equivalent of a 25 horsepower load at 480 volts. So it's a very nice standalone offering um, that I think will meet the market requirements very well. Uh, moving a little further to the left, you'll see this is the base drive of the fully featured HVAC drive product. This is our open drive. Um, we use this in, in our enclosed package for a bypass. Um, we have some great features and software that we developed for this, including our proprietary interface to our Facility Explorer system. Uh, we have an active energy control algorithm in this product that's guaranteed to give you an extra 2 to 8% cost savings out of the box compared to our competitor. I think it's a very good advantage that we have. Looking here to the left is an example of what we call now our enclosed bypass package. This comes in either a drive with a complete bypass or drive with disconnect only. This is an example of a three contactor NEMA 12 or IP54 um, unit with uh, indicator lights, manual force bypass switch as an option to complement the electronic bypass that we use. And if you look in the inside, you can kind of see the layout of the land. It incorporates the base drive. Include, here are the three contactor design, new power supply, highly reliable contactors. We have a manual motor protector on the front end of this, which is very nice. It takes care of everything from the overload and protection of the drive to the output of the bypass contactor. So there's one simple setting of an overload to uh, get your drive set up and running. So this is a extremely nice package, especially with the added options that now that we have going to an enclosed package allows us to bring some more indicator lights and a few more features that we did not have available in our Series 1 drive. So we're real excited about it. Jim, that's uh, clearly a very compelling product line and uh, why would, uh, the, what, what, tell us about the increased energy savings and how much, uh, how, how visible the return on investment is and we want to bring people to a call for action. Why should people get involved with VFDs, buy them and get them started? What, what is the actions that they can expect, or returns they can expect? The, um, the variable speed drive, I think, is being incorporated more and more in even smaller motors now. Um, the drive has become a very reliable solution, um, and it's a very cost-effective solution, especially our microdrive line. 
some of our products here are cheaper than just a, a cross line motor starter. And you get the advantage of a soft start. You get an example of, uh, you know, you've got the EMI RFI protection built in, uh, soft start feature so you can ramp up to whatever speed. It has PID capability so it can do the closed loop control on its own. And it's a very nice compact package, as you can see. Even our larger frame sizes can be easily handled by an individual hung on a wall by himself, making an installation nice and easy. So, yeah, this is going to be a great offering for us. We see a, this as a nice enhancement to the Johnson offering. This is something we did not have in a complete offering in our VSD Series 1. But we're very excited about the open drive and our bypass solution. This being the primary solution that we do sell in the field, um, the industry still calls for bypass as a primary call to action, so we provide the options needed uh, in order to meet those market demands. And I think as you work with the product more and more, you'll find the ease of programming it, setup, and the energy savings is really worth the investment. So, Thank you very much, Jim. So in closing, uh, Control Trans Community, uh, Johnson Controls has an extensive VFD line that you need to take a look at for immediate savings, immediate results. Thank you, Jim Britton. Thank you very much.